All right, so we're gonna do fake grass, homemade style, the cheap way. To do this yard, it was gonna cost around eight grand, but we're gonna use a company, I'll put some links down below in the description. We bought some used turf from a football field. Um, got rid of all the big rock, and now I've got this tamper. It's a rental, 70 bucks a day. And I'm gonna go through the whole yard and level it with that. Then we'll take a landscape rake and kind of get it as level as we can. Um, that's our first step of the project that I'm recording anyways. You can see along this back wall, well, the sidewalls here where the rock used to go up as well. We're gonna do a planter there, but this will take all day, I think. Okay, the first run through the yard with the tamper looks like this. Um, so this rock, You'd be able to feel that through the grass and that's kind of my goal is to get rid of that um it's not easy here it's not easy access uh there's no way to get a trailer in here even though it looks like it would work there's uh stuff in the front yard water pipes cable box all that stuff um so i don't want to wheel a bunch of uh decomposed granite or quarter minus fill back here. So I thought I'd try the tamper. And you can see, when you look at the yard now, you can start to see the waves because this yard was never flattened other than for rock. When you put rock in, it doesn't have to be that flat. You can kind of fill it funky. So now I'm gonna take a landscape rake and try and get it as flat as I can, taking a lot of this dirt over this way to kind of fill in with the rock, okay? Um, the strips of used AstroTurf are seven foot, seven foot, seven foot, and that's gonna leave me uh, about a one foot uh, barrier over here. So on this edge, I'm gonna do probably like a rock line barrier. The other reason for that is we've got footings along this, uh, the wall. They come out pretty far, anywhere from eight to eight inches to a foot. And to hold the sod, I'll show you later, you'll see later, you use these giant galvanized nails. We're not gonna be able to get it down in there. So I'm gonna stay away from that edge. So now because the waves go this way, excuse me, go this way in the yard, I'm gonna rake it this direction. Try and break those waves up. Okay, so here's how I'm using this landscape rake. See the right side? I'm just using the flat blade. blade. The right side's on the ground, the left side's on the ground, and right there in the middle, see the sunlight coming through. So um, I'm just dragging it all over the yard to get all that stuff filled in gonna be tedious but well worth it okay I've raked it a few times pulled out probably three more wheelbarrow full of rock over there I'm gonna tamp it again uh, and then I'm gonna hose it down for the afternoon once it all settles again I'll probably tamp it again in the morning then we'll lay our weed barrier and uh, then start the process of rolling the grass out. It'll be here tonight at 6.30. Right now it's about three, so lots of time. It's super hot, I kind of changed my mind. So I did four passes, <coughs> five I guess it looks like, four and a half. Um, and it's pretty dusty, so I'm gonna water it now quite a bit. And then I'll just tamp it really good in the morning. I'll water it now, I'll water it again tonight before I leave after the grass shows and then we'll tamp it in the morning and go that route for now I'm gonna go by the weed barrier and the uh, nails that we're gonna need maybe some sand okay I changed my mind on a little bit since this was a rock yard anyways and there's literally two weeds in this whole yard it rained all last week anyways 
Uh, only two weeds. I'm not going to do a weed barrier. I'm going to see how this works out. I might regret it, but we'll see. This way, if anybody has questions, then, I don't know. Shoot. See how it goes. So, just soaking it all now. Get all this to hard pack again. Then we'll run the tamper on it in the morning. It'll be good, I hope. Okay, so these are just dust lines from beating the snot out of it with the tamper thing. It's all done. Like I said, I'm not gonna do a weed barrier. So we're just gonna roll the grass out or the AstroTurf out. They dropped it off last night with a dump truck. There's four rolls. Let's see how it goes. I gotta take that back first. All right. So I took the tamper back. Now I'm going to find out which of these rolls is the longest. I'm going to start in this corner and bring it along this concrete edge. Kind of run it wild over here. And then we're just going to go that way with all of it. And uh, see how it goes. This stuff's really super thick. It's really soft. It's pretty cool actually. I'm, I'm amazed. And the backing on it seems pretty hardcore. It's used, so of course there's worn spots, but we'll give it a shot, see how it goes. Saving tons of money. So I am a huge fan of that. These two are the heavy rolls, so. Okay, so right now I'm just doing a few test spikes to make sure there's no concrete footings that go underneath the concrete. I'm gonna try along that wall to see how far I need to do my nail line back. Nails hitting concrete. Let's try it here. So, looking at about six inches out for the um, footing. So, I'm going to run the turf all the way to this wall. We'll see how it finishes. Um, I might put like a line of brick or something on top of it. I don't know. I've never done this. I'm just cheap. Okay, we rolled this first piece out. Obviously it's used football field turf. Got some extra length there. Um, so now initially what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set this end with some spikes. I have to be about six to eight inches off the wall for that. Then I'm gonna go along the edge and I'll probably spike it every two feet. Um, all the way down to here, do the same thing that direction. When I spike it on the edge, what I'm going to do, see how it's kind of bunched up like that? I'm going to push down like this, kind of like when you're installing carpet, and then push this direction and put this, set the spike. So hopefully this will look awesome, even with the lines. So right now I'm trying to stretch the AstroTurf. The way I'm doing it is by jumping and sliding. So we get that bunch right there. And I set a spike. Okay, so we've folded it over. I'm just gonna cut that right there so it's manageable. And then we'll roll this piece up for uh, using elsewhere on the project. Okay, I'm burning up, so I'm taking a break. It's like 8 million degrees. I'm just running this wild again. We're gonna put a planter over the top of it. Uh, we set the far wall first and then pulled the whole thing as tight as we could and then we set spike by spike, doing that jump and slide method to keep it tight along the whole edge there. I'm about right there. I'm gonna take it all the way and then pull it tight this way again as we nail this edge. I got a box of eight inch galvanized spikes. They didn't have, uh, I wanted six inch galvanized nails. They didn't have them. That box was like a hundred bucks, so 
so far we're in about 1400 bucks i did get a new little sledgehammer that was 17 so that's fun too anyways after my break we'll keep going hi brooklyn hi okay it's only 90 degrees but i think i'm dying out i left these spikes up so you can see kind of how far spaced they are um and right here you can see is where i stopped with the uh the blade from pushing it in so now we'll just kind of finish the rest of the way pushing it into the concrete and then i'm gonna finish setting all these spikes and then we'll start our next row and then our third row and then we play ball i think good job drew now get the edge Get the edge. Your turn. This is my grandson. He's a hard worker. Oh yeah. Okay, before we roll out this second row, all the way down, this roll has a couple of puncture holes in it, probably from a forklift it looks like. So, we'll lay it out and I'll probably cut like 15 or 20 feet off that, but we're gonna roll the whole thing out, see if there's another line like this that we can kind of get rid of by rolling it out. These are painted lines, and this is just a complete different piece of grass. So eventually, I'm gonna paint this initially green just to get by for a while. Um, and then when I have more time in Arizona, I'm gonna cut this out and then inlay some of the extra green I have just to make it all match better. Um, that'll be another video. Let's roll this out and cut off these bad ends. Okay, so we rolled the second one out. It had a lot of holes from a forklift, which pretty much sucks. But we rolled it all the way out. And you can see the holes here from the forklift. That's part of buying used, you know. You save tons of money but you have holes so we rolled it out again we're doing a planter over there so i'm going to cut it on this fold and then we'll just pull the whole piece up against the wall here and immediately what came to my mind was i should have done that with the first piece roll it all the way out then we could have pulled to get that line as far over here as possible right now unfortunately it's right in the middle of the yard but I think we can fix that pretty well anyways, well enough anyways. All right, so I'm gonna cut this, slide this whole piece up against the wall, and then we'll spike this one in. Remember, lay out all your pieces if you can. I don't have a lot of room here. The HOA would freak out if I rolled this out on the front yard or anything. The front yard's half this size anyways, but driveway, whatever. Um, Roll it out and see what you have. They, uh, the place I bought this from, they invited me to come and inspect it before they brought it, but I didn't have time. Um, and they were able to get it delivered the day I called them to uh, request the turf. So I said, you know, send what you got. Here's how many square feet I need. They sent some extra, so that's cool. Okay, so I'm laying this second row. Um, and it's kind of tough. You, I don't know what it's like with new material, but I'm having to go through and pull all of this up, which kind of works out, you know, there's a little bit there. I'm setting this new piece over this. So I'm overlapping it just a little bit. And you can see um, this used grass some of it's melted on the edge. Uh, it's pretty visible over here, uh, right here. Um, but it's working out. Slow and tedious at this point though to get it all lined up. All right, it's coming together. Something to watch for is, see how the seam lines are uh, vertical when you're looking at it rolled up like that? Those seam lines go this way on both of these pieces 
If we come over here and look at our third piece, they're going lateral. So it would look like a cowlick in your hair if I use this roll. So I hope that this roll with, again, the vertical lines will work with uh, the remainder of that very first piece we used that didn't have the holes. So watch for that when you're uh, using this used turf. Unless you're into Calyx, then go for it. Okay, we're getting there. Um, just laid these last night. Haven't really put them in place or anything. Um, this last bit, uh, there's a bunch of holes in this piece. So, um, this one I'm gonna have to patch, but I think I can drag this one over to, it'll probably lay about here so I can cut this and get rid of those holes there. And then we'll just put all that in place. Then I'll get some infill. Uh, and once the infill's in, it'll kind of fill in this, the seams and look a little better. We'll run a broom over it. And with the weight of the infill, you'll, that sound will go away if you hear the plastic underneath kind of crinkling. But it's getting there. I ordered some uh, paint from Amazon. It won't be here for a few days, but anyways, let's get this done before it gets hot. Okay, I've got to get that piece put in. I just made this cut on this longer piece. Um, it's not perfect, but it will work. Now I'm gonna set all this and then get back to this seam. It takes a lot of spikes. It's kind of exhausting that way. Okay, I've got that piece set. There's a spike here, 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 and here. So again, about every 18 inches. I'm not measuring it, just close got the spikes pretty far to the edge right there and I did the uh, stretch where you jump on it and stomp like you saw earlier Whew. trying to get this done before it gets too hot I'm gonna finish setting those and then unroll this slide it right up to it not overlap and then do the same thing set that edge and stretch it this way. When I say stretch, you're not really stretching this stuff. You're just getting out the uh, the folds kind of thing. This first one is looking pretty good. The sun's warmed it up and allowed it to settle. This one you can still see some ripples, but it's getting there. Okay, this is kind of a joke actually. All you, this is about is spreading the sand all over. Um, gonna have to do like 20 passes just to get the weight that I need. But anyways, it's kind of like reseeding your lawn. It's so fun. Plus Luna loves it. Okay, so the fertilizer <laughs> spreader would take forever to get the weight we need distributed. So I'm gonna just dump sand all over and broom, broom it out. And um, we'll probably do that over time. Uh, not all right away. Uh, waiting for the paint to come from Amazon. There'll be a link below. Hopefully that works out. Uh, now I've got some stone over in the wheelbarrow. I'm gonna see what I wanna do for the planter here. And I think I'm just going to lay brick along this border. We'll check that out, see how it looks. Okay, this is from just dumping sand in place. All you got to do is run the broom over it. And it settle, gets it to settle in between all the blades, I guess. That's what we would call it. Um, and that is what you do to weigh it down. It takes a ton of sand. I've seen uh, 
some sites recommend like a pound a square foot or something like that. I don't think I'm gonna go that far because that's eh, a lot. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm weighing down the heavy traffic area right there, all along that edge. And then I'm gonna do a lot in the seams to weigh those down so they don't get caught up. Anyways, that's it. Uh, here's kind of some thoughts for how to finish this edge. I was just gonna backfill with some of the old rock, but I kind of like the brick idea. Obviously it's just sitting there, not leveled or anything. And I'm not gonna go for perfect. Um, and for the planter wall, something like this, I'll probably hire some guys to do an actual level foundation because it's just waiting to tip over, honestly. But I just bought all that stuff just to see the look. I think I like it. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Be sure and subscribe, share, whatever you do. Or like it, or comment, or whatever. If you have better ideas, please tell me. Because I have no idea what I'm doing with this, honestly. Saved a lot of money, though.